Oh, hello guys. So recently I started experimenting with the window managers. You may saw on couple of my videos. So I was trying to install Qtile now and everyone knows on the Arch Linux that's pretty easy like everything else. I don't know why it's all the fuss about Arch Linux. It's been hard for you to use. But anyway, so I've been trying to install it on Ubuntu. Well, and I have some trouble. I couldn't do it. I was doing some research and fighting with it for a while. And finally, I found a solution. I don't think this is the optimal one, but this is solution for me, the new user of Linux and Qtile Window Manager. So I'm gonna try and show you in this video how I did it. Maybe it's gonna be easier for you to install it on your Ubuntu if you wanna try Qtile. I don't know, but I'm gonna try and show you today. So let's do it. Okay, so first let's go to the official Qtile documentation. Here, as you can see, they are explaining how to install Qtile on Debian or Ubuntu. Let's first try that and see what's gonna happen. So open the terminal. Just in case, update your system. This is a virtual machine of the latest version of Ubuntu 23.04 that I prepared especially for that. Oh, look at that. We have some upgrades. Oh no, we don't. Okay, anyway. So, on the documentation, they say use pip, but I don't think we have it installed yet. So, let's install it with sudo app install need python 3-pip for that. Well, if I can spell correctly, of course. Uh, okay, install it. It shouldn't take that much. Let's see. So first I'm gonna show you all the steps that I was doing it and following the documentation of Qtile and you see what kind of error messages I was getting and how I went around it. Okay, so installed. Let's copy pip install one of the packages needed for that. And you see that this is all I'm getting all the time. I guess this is some kind of new package on the Ubuntu that's preventing you from installing software different from apt, like in this case pip or python3 or whatever. And the way I found it to be working for me, it's I have my cheat sheet here. Come on, open. Okay, I even made well, it's not really all made of me. I found a guy who made a script how to do it. I just improved it for myself. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you the GitHub page for the script if you wanna use the script, which is gonna be easier for you. But anyway, so let's follow what I did in this script. So this is all the packages here. I just gonna copy and paste them. If you, in case you want to try it and you don't want to deal with the GitHub page, I'm going to leave everything I use in this video in the description below. So don't worry about it. Okay. So one of the solutions, you don't need only Python 3 pip. You need the full Python 3. Oops. Oopsie. So let's install that. Copying and pasting again. It's gonna take a few more seconds, just be patient. 
All right. Now we still need these packages to be installed before we install Qtile because this is a dependency that well that we needed for Qtile. So anyway, let's install that. But we need this at the end of the line of the install line, which is dash dash break dash system dash packages, which is preventing us from using the package that send us the error and it is allowing us to install well in this case that package so let's do it and as you can see it's already working and installing and you need the Cairo, Cairo CFFI or whatever the thing is and again at the end of the line you just put the dash dash break dash system dash packages like I said, I'm gonna leave everything I knew, uh, everything I use in this video in the description down below, so don't worry about it. Just sit back and watch. Okay, and at this point, you can just install the latest version with pip3, which is currently 0.22.1, and again, just put the force reinstall at the end. Well, not uh, forced reinstall, excuse me, just the brake system package again. But I found out that the using the GitHub page gives us the latest and greatest from Qtile. And if you using the GitHub page, you don't even need to install those two packages here. But we did it just because if you want to do it the old way. So let's copy that and paste it. We don't have git install, I think. We'll see. Yeah, we don't have it. Let's install it a little quick. Yes. And let's try again. And as you can see, this works like a charm. All right, don't mind the warning. It's just saying that the Qtile package or whatever it's installed in the dot local bin, which is not on path. This is not going to be a problem. Okay, so the last thing you need is the desktop entry which you can install and do just because well I'm using GNOME and the GDM when you install the desktop entry it's shown on the GDM I'll show you in a bit so let's do that again just copy and paste just update everything All right, and we are ready to go. No, don't save it. And now the only thing you need to do is just log out and walk back in. I'll show you this, like I said, it's virtual machine, so it's gonna be pretty easy for me. So let's log out and see what's gonna happen. If it should have a Qtile entry. Let's see. Yes, and there is. Okay. Just walk back in. And yes, we have the default Qtile window manager, which is, well, no background. It's the default bar. Well, I'm gonna leave you here to play with it as much as you want to. I'm not gonna do that here. So, uh oh. Let's get out. Okay, guys, this was it. I hope this makes your life a little bit 
easier because I was struggling for a few hours to find the solution how to install the DM Qt Window Manager on Ubuntu. And just in case you want to try it, I have. Come on. I have the script on my GitHub page. So all you have to do is just download it or clone it. Unzip it. I don't need that anymore. So open the terminal if it's easy for you. Change the ownership. Make it executable. Oops. Change mod, of course. What the hell I'm doing? I'm getting tired already, I guess. Sorry, guys. So, makes it executable and just run it. Put your password down and it's gonna do everything we just did. But automatically, if you prefer this, alright. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description too. So, go ahead. And play with it if you want. And it's already installed. So, okay, guys, that's it from me. I wish you a happy weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.